I first got involved in public service by, by joining the Army at age 17. So I served for a little over three years when I was injured. Um, I was basically run over by a truck and had a spinal cord injury. And you know, back in the early 1980s, there was no Americans with Disabilities Act. So um, it was kind of uncharted territory. I've gone through some hard times and uh, at least one of the things that drives me for public service is, is to help reduce the number of people that uh, will have to go through some of the things that I had to experience. I would describe my work kind of in two ways. Um, one of them is using my engineering background to try to solve problems for people with disabilities, especially veterans with disabilities. Life with a disability even today is still fairly tough. And the other part is trying to train uh, generations of people to, to follow in my footsteps uh, to uh, hopefully continue to address these problems. And that's what it's really all about, right? Trying to make their lives better, their families' lives better. Who's more important to serve than uh, somebody who was perfectly healthy, put their life on the line? You know, you talk about, in America we talk about the 1%, but the, the 1% that's really important is the 1% serving in uniform.